Now to the weeks-long search off Australia for Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. A robot submarine seems to be the best hope of finding the remains of the missing airliner. But malfunctions and the size of the search area is 230 square miles, equivalent to Los Angeles. And the depth of the Indian Ocean, nearly three miles, are challenging the technical ability of the sub. Here's China state-controlled broadcaster CCTV with the latest on the search. As hopes fade for the success of an air search, here a Chinese Aleutian cargo plane returns from another fruitless sortie over the Indian Ocean. Focus has turned to the seabed and the Bluefin 21, a robotic submarine. However, a leading oceanographer in Britain says the craft is designed only to reach depths of four and a half thousand meters. The problem is that the pings originated from a depth of between about four and a half and five thousand meters. So it's right on the edge of its capability. And every time it goes below that four and a half thousand meters, it has a self-protection mechanism, which makes it stop and rise to the surface straight away. An added problem? Bluefin 21 records data internally. Scientists must wait until it returns to the mothership for detail of what it's seen. And that does slow things down. And it's a bit like walking around Manhattan with uh, a small pen light trying to pick up um, a coin on the, on, the, on the sidewalk. The seabed search, says Dr. Boxall, is on the foothills of a substantial mountain range. We still have better maps of the moon surface, more detail of the moon surface than we do of this part of the sea floor. So there are lots of unknowns and the data that's being collected by things like the Bluefin 21 um, will be new data to scientists. So it's not a question of we're looking at an area that has already been well mapped and we're looking for anomalies. We're looking at an area that's new to science. And among the other unknown elements, whether visual contact with the wreckage of MH370 has been obscured by silt and sediment on the sea floor. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London. Now on US Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.